Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the Rant and Share, smoking me a lucky strike, solving the world's problems one slow inhale to a time. Well, as I often do when I make my ass warm with my chair and uh, try not to think about how bad I fucking hurt today, I put something on the computer, and today was movie day. Which leads me to the discussion of... Oh, sorry, apartment noises, what are you going to do? Leads me to the discussion of preparedness in movies, right? Now, fair warning, uh, I'm going to be discussing a plot of a 1984 slasher flick called Children of Corn. So if you haven't seen it, I get it. But it's old enough, and it's a free movie, so, yeah, watch it if you're interested. So, dude and his old lady are traveling across the country. He's going to be a doctor in a small town, and then, you know, tragedy strikes. He hits a body standing in the middle of the road and so the course of him looking around through this whole mess trying to find adults and a telephone is just gone very poorly for him now I'm no expert here um, guys first impulse should have been drive back the direction he came and go find help right instead of carting off through the corn uh, looking for survivors and whatnot and while dude was fairly prepared in his little road trip for the adventure, uh, he left his car unattended and it got vandalized. <sighs> then he proceeds to be chased by a bunch of Bible crazy children with uh, machetes, bill hooks, pitchforks, knives, you know, ice hooks, hay forks, just all sort of melee weapon, you know, just good slasher film stuff, and he ends up solving the problem and rescuing his old lady in the process by burning down said demon-possessed cornfield. Now, what does this mean for you and I? Um, for starters, don't cause trouble. Don't start trouble, won't be trouble. Easier said than done, I know. You should probably be prepared to do some walking on foot, right? Uh, over distances, especially in the Midwest. You should be dressed appropriately for the time of year. But most importantly, if you're going in your car, have a fucking handgun with you. You have no excuse. All these movies, right, they have, you know, slashers and, you know, bludgeoners and all kinds of other icky, close-in wet work, but nobody in these movies seems to A, have a firearm, or B, know how to use it, or C, if they do have one, it's of limited use to them, and they usually get killed first. And if you're going to throw a Molotov cocktail, throw it at something hard enough, it'll break the damn bottle. You know, just because you're not supposed to learn how to do these things probably means you should be learning how to do these things. Now, I'm not saying you're going to have to burn down a demon-possessed cornfield unless you're in the middle of bumfuck Nebraska, but, you know... Taking out infrastructure is a key way to get victory. And let's say if you burned a massive cornfield, it would hurt our infrastructure pretty badly. Which you shouldn't do because, you know, we're in civilized times at least what passes for it now. But as always, if you don't like preparedness lessons through movies with Joe, or you think that unemployed vodka guy should do more food reviews, or you don't like the idea that I uh, think that all these movies should take place in a field of lucky strikes, then you can eat my shorts and have a fantastic one day.